Does your shower do this when you turn it on? You see all the water that's just spraying out down here? That is decreasing the pressure and it's just wasting water right down the drain. The problem is super easy to fix, but <clears throat> on the bottom here, there's a little screw. Uh, this is about how 90% of them are in my area. Some of them you just unscrew, but if you have one like this, you gotta put the wrench in the right spot on the bottom, and then you're gonna have to loosen up the screw. So these are also pretty nice because they have the ball tip on them. And once you get it a little loose, you can kind of use it. And with that ball tip, you don't have to be at the perfect angle and you can loosen it a little bit quicker. So if yours is caulked, you can go around the edge and just cut off the uh, caulk. All right, now we should be able to just get a good grip on it and we can pull it right off. And you see there was that screw there. They put a ton of caulking around this thing too. You wanna to take a piece of sand cloth and just clean up any of that paint or caulking that may have gone onto the pipe. It'll help you get a good connection. Now inside of here, there's a little gasket. That's what makes the seal. So we're just gonna put a little grease on this thing. It's optional if you don't have it, don't worry about it. We're gonna take our new tub spout and then we're just gonna put it on the pipe here. Ooh, there we go. Now we need to take the same wrench and tighten the new one on here. If you forget to tighten this and you turn the water on, the tub spout will come flying off and it'll hit you in the knee. Ask me how I know that. Now, before you apply your caulking, go ahead and turn it on and test it and make sure it's tight enough. And you can see we have absolutely Basically no water coming out there. A ton more pressure up. Now you can just hit it up with a thing of caulk. If you like tips like these and you live in a home, you may want to hit the follow button for repairs and uploads.